Hello guys, welcome back to TechCourse Page. Ang mga career opportunities na babanggitin ko sa inyo ay based sa Indeed.com Philippines. Uh, dito kinonsolidate nila yung mga information from employers, employees, and users para mag-come up ng uh, average-based salary ng mga career opportunities na ilinis down natin for computer science graduate. First is the IT technician. Ang IT technician has an average based salary na 19,846 per month. IT technicians work with clients and internal employees to troubleshoot issues related to technology. These professionals are typically the first point of contact for these issues and may work with customers or only with employees within the company for which they work. The primary duties of an IT technician include troubleshooting computer and technology problems, providing direction and advice, upgrading software and hardware to ensure optimization, and installing hardware, software, and firewalls to help customers and companies complete their desired task. Next is Hardware Engineer. Ang uh, Hardware Engineer ay may average-based salary na 22,758 per month. Hardware engineers build and design technology hardware, such as computers, networks, and circuit boards. The primary duties of a hardware engineer include testing computer systems, developing hardware to meet the company and consumer needs, researching technology trends, and create design blueprints. Hardware engineers can work independently or on a team of professionals. Often, these professionals create hardware by following a client-specific request but may also build hardware that they believe can allow for a more effective and efficient system. Next is Web Developer. Web Developer has an average based salary of 28062 per month. Web developers are information technology professionals who manage the front and back end of the websites. This can include developing the back end of a website with coding language and designing the front end of the website to appeal the end users. These professionals can work for companies, organizations, or on a freelance and contractual basis. The primary duties of a web developer can include writing code, fixing website errors, fulfilling client requests, and updating website functionality to improve the end user experience. Next is System Analyst. System Analyst has an average based salary of 31,174 per month. System Analysts review a company's business and technology systems to ensure efficiency and efficacy. These professionals can work on a consultant or full-time basis as internal employees. The job duties of a system analyst include troubleshooting data issues, researching new practices and technology, analyzing the cost of hardware and software, communicating company goals with other IT professionals, and testing computer systems to identify issues. After evaluating a company's system, these professionals make recommendations on changes the company may make to meet its goals. Next is Digital Designer. Digital Designer has an average based salary of 38013 per month. Digital Designers are computer science and marketing professionals who create a graphic design for a variety of applications. These can include websites, mobile applications, emails, and social media graphics. Digital designers may work closely with web and application developers to ensure they create the graphics and front-end aesthetics to match the coding and back-end development the other professionals create. Digital designers can work as full-time, internal employees, or on a freelance and contract basis. Next is Information Security Analyst. Uh, meron silang average based salary na 38,120 per month. Information security analysts maintain the safety and privacy of a company's computer systems. Their primary duties can include evaluating computer systems for risks or issues, 
installing protective software in firewalls, investigating security breaches, implementing data safety protocols, explaining data protection and security practices to other employees, and testing protection software to ensure their efficacy. Information security analysts might also research new computer viruses and monitor hacking trends to create emergency protocols and prepare for possible risks. Next is software developer. Software developer has an average based salary of 38,455 per month. Software developers are responsible for the creation and maintenance of new software programs. These professionals can create software for a variety of different platforms, including computer systems and mobile devices. The software this professional developed allows end users to perform specific tasks, such as sending a message, watching a video, or calculating an equation. Software developers communicate with other departments and the management team within the company for which they work to understand the specific needs of the company and make plans for how to meet its software goals. Next is Application Developer. Application Developer has an average based salary of 40416 per month. Application Developers are IT professionals who create and maintain applications. These professionals can work as internal employees of a company or on a freelance and contractual basis. Their primary responsibilities can include coding and designing applications, maintaining functionality, creating updates to improve the application, troubleshooting issues, and providing IT support for end users. When developing a new application, application developers may take on a project management role and interact with other professionals such as designers, marketers, and managers to ensure the application meets company goals. Next is a business intelligence analyst. Uh, meron silang average based salary na 44,421 per month. Business intelligence analysts evaluate a company's data and systems to find ways to improve it. Their job duties include reviewing data and data systems, making recommendations for improvement, evaluating the company's resources, monitoring competitor data and resources, and creating strategies to improve the business operations. Though these professionals can focus on areas that aren't related to IT, some may focus on the company's technological goals and resources. They also use computer science skills to assess and evaluate data. Next is Cloud Engineer. Meron silang average based salary na 45,582 per month. Cloud Engineers manage a company's cloud-based computer systems. Their primary duties can include installing and updating software that allows the use of a data cloud, which is digital database for a personal and company data and updating previous company databases to integrate them with the cloud system. Cloud engineers also may manage the security of the cloud system, which can include testing for risk or weaknesses in its design. These professionals typically provide support to internal employees and troubleshoot any issue related to the company's cloud. Next is Programmer Analyst. They have average based salary of 46719 per month. Programmer analysts are professionals who typically work in the IT department of companies. These professionals are responsible for testing, developing, and maintaining software for the company. Programmer analysts are also review company goals to ensure they create the software necessary to complete company achievements. They also may test the software code other professionals create to ensure that it's free from glitches and has the maximum level of optimization. Next is Game Developer. Game Developer has an average based salary of 46,771 per month. Video game developers are computer science professionals who write code and create software to develop a designer's idea into a playable video game for end users. Though these professionals work in the gaming industry, most have a computer science and IT background. 
Their job duties include programming games for a variety of platforms, including mobile and web games. Video game designers also troubleshoot issues and inspect their code for bugs or glitches. Next is Database Administrator. Uh, it has an average based salary of 47,911 per month. Database administrators are entry-level computer science professionals who manage the software and application databases, such as company records, user profiles, and libraries. Their primary duties include creating backup systems to prevent data loss, developing database systems, troubleshooting issues, testing database structures, and ensuring the speed and efficiency of the database. These professionals might also make plans for expanding or otherwise managing a database's capacity, updating antivirus software, and planning protocols for the event of database failure. Lastly, we have a data scientist. It has an average based salary of 55222 per month. Data scientists analyze data in its original form and evolve it into a more readable form so other professionals can use it. Their primary duties can include developing models based on their research, applying appropriate models to data, communicating with other departments and management to understand company needs and goals, and transcribing and sharing data. Data scientists typically keep up-to-date knowledge on current technology trends and apply this knowledge to their data analysis. As a computer science graduate, ilan lamang sa mga nabanggit ko ang pwede nating pasukin na trabaho or career pag tayo nakagraduate ng computer science. At sana ang video na ito ay nakatulong sa inyo para magkaroon kayo ng idea kung ano ba ang nababagay sa inyong mga trabaho pag kayo ay nakatapos ng computer science. Once again, thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to TechCourse PH. And uh, please also follow our Facebook page. Um, once again, thank you and see you on our next video.